Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk to you a little bit about anti-aliasing and what that means and what that does for you in X-Plane. And so that setting, if you have your visual effects here turned up to high or HDR, gives you access to FXAA and SSAA. And so FXAA is anti-aliasing, which aims to get rid of the jagged lines that you see. And we're going to look at some of those in a minute. The um, SSAA is super sample anti-aliasing, which means that the system will render the, the frame at a higher resolution and then use that extra resolution to fill in the gaps to take away the jagged lines. But of course, as you crank this up, there's a frame rate penalty. But on really high-end graphics cards, there's not much of a frame rate penalty, and it'll depend on what resolution you're running at. I have a 1080, GTX 1080 in here, so I can pretty much crank this thing all the way up, and it doesn't have a really big effect on my frame rate. So let's take a look at it with it turned completely off. Now, one thing you'll notice is uh, right in your face here is that this edge of the compass, see how that's real jagged? Looks like um, stair steps. That's one thing you'll notice. If we go and we look at some of these buildings over here, you notice at the edge of these buildings, the lines are kind of jagged on them. Oops, sorry, I'm zoomed way in here. Like the edge of this building right here. And as I move, notice how, as I zoom in and out, notice how the edge of that building looks like it's moving. All these buildings, the edges look like they're like a s escalator. So let's go turn on, just to see the extreme, I'm going to turn it all the way up. My frame rate was about 50, and then now my frame rate's about 35. And notice the edges of these buildings don't look like stair steps anymore. And as I zoom in and out, you're not seeing an escalator looking thing with the, the edge of the building, you know, looking like it's moving. All these buildings are nice and square and solid. Let's turn it back off again and then notice the effect. We've got the edges here, jagged edges, and they look like they're moving. So one other thing I want to look at is out here in the distance. As I zoom in and out, I'm also kind of simulating, you know, moving forward in the plane. Look at the edges of all the buildings. Look like they're all moving. See these edges, how they look like they're moving? Uh, now we go and we um, turn anti-aliasing all the way up, and now they're suddenly not moving anymore. So let's look at it when we're actually flying along. Sorry, I'm using the mouse as a yoke. Look at the tops of these buildings, how they all look like they're kind of shimmering, and it actually looks kind of terrible. All the tops of the buildings and the edges of the buildings are all moving. Let's turn our anti-aliasing all the way up to the highest. Unpause it. Look, you can already tell the difference without me even unpausing here. Oh, sorry. I've got this dog on. I should hook a stick up, I guess. Okay, so we're flying along now, and look, the tops of the buildings look perfectly fine. Nothing's moving or shimmering or anything like that. One more time, I will turn it completely off. This time I will try to hold myself steady. There we go. And see, look at all that movement now. How all the edges are shimmering and, and being all jagged looking. Now, if you can't support it, um, if your system can't handle turned all the way up. A good compromise is 2X SSAA plus FXAA. Um, I don't recommend just the FXAA if you can help it, but it's better than nothing. So I'm gonna go with 2X SSAA plus FXAA. And you see it still looks quite good. Um, but you do see a little bit of that shimmering in the distance stuff that's closer looks a good bit better. So hopefully that helps you understand what um, this anti-aliasing does and how it can help you. And if you have a really high-end graphics card, you should be able to turn it on without um, 
having a big frame rate hit. We've got it turned all the way up here. And again, I apologize for my earlier core flying with this mouse yoke. It's not the easiest thing to do. 